Good afternoon, Mill Creek, and welcome to our March Madness Halftime Update. We are here at the Williams Invitational, and we have some incredible games to catch you up on. Just for a quick recap of the games this week, each lease and each renewal counts as one point, and each save notice to vacate counts as two points. Okay, now let's get to the games. Madeira Gulch has started off strong with three apps and two nets. A lease a day keeps Chris away, as they say. It's enough for a lead of 2-0 over Coral Springs, who just can't seem to get anything going quite yet. Let's now go down courtside to Mike to catch up on the rest of the matches. Thank you, Karen. Modera Midtown has shown they are not messing around this week, connecting with a save notice to vacate and a lease for a 3-1 to one lead over Germantown. Germantown has been on a hot streak recently, so don't count them out just yet. Moving over to our highly anticipated matchup of Alistair Lakeland versus Modera Reynolds Town. Struggles on offense have hurt Lakeland, but the renewal side is keeping him in the game with four signed. Meanwhile, Reynolds Town has been consistent on offense and defense and holds a two to one lead at the half. Alistair Uptown has, showed, has started off slow with a denial and is negative one, but Decatur is yet to get anything going and holds a slim lead at the half. Hopefully, Coach Hester and Coach Sneed can make some halftime adjustments and get some momentum going for the second half. Meanwhile, in Orlando, Creative Village is putting on a masterclass effort, coming in strong with two leases and a save notice to vacate for your score at the half. Creative four, old Ivy nothing. Remember, everybody, games are won in the second half. It's not how you start, but how you finish. Best of luck the rest of the week, and we will send you back to the games.